Ah! Ah! And I'm like, uh, you need to answer that? He's like, no, I'll answer it later. I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, okay. Well, that's a way to start a video. What is that from? What is that if from? The viewers don't know what this is from. No, you, you tell me. Upset. I know what it's from. Oh, I know what it's from. I grew up with this movie. If you guys do not know what that's from, you, need to you were born after 2000. <laughs> I think it came out during the 2000s, actually. No way. Yeah, it came, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, damn it! It is 2001. I told you. God damn it. Jurassic Park 3. So Jurassic Park 3 was where it's from, but Jurassic Park 1 had to be in the, or it was like the 90, 90s. 98. So I thought it was the 90s, but it wasn't. Well, you were born when? 98. Yeah. We get it. We get it. Alright guys, so... Like I was saying before, I was beautifully interrupted. In today's video, we're going to be delivering my old FR8... FR8... FRS seats. FRS seats from my car. Uh, I got a DM a couple weeks ago from a guy named Chris. Chris is the owner of a blue, beautiful WRX. Chris asked me if my seats were still in my car. I told him literally the word negative. They weren't. And he uh, asked if, huh? Uh, Who? Continue, don't listen to me. All right. Um, he hit me up. He asked me if I had my seats in my car. I told him negative. He's all, all right, well, let me get them off of you. So, we're gonna go drop them off to him. He, was able to pull all this off to get his car ready for low class, which is tomorrow. But Josh's car is done. Huge shout out to Revive Wraps. Mike killed Josh's roof wrap this morning. So is it just gloss black? Yep, gloss black. Gloss black. When we get back to the house, I'll show you guys, but that's a huge difference in the car. But for right now, we are on the way to Chris's house and we'll see you guys there. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, so I believe we're here. Stupid. Uh, left. Left where? Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. I thought we missed it. That was stupid. Hey, I thought that was cool. We'll see how it looks later. Okay, stop. Here. Two five. Two five nine five. We're not gonna say the address on the block. The first movie. What are the... Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so, I believe we found it. I'm gonna message him right now. My guy, we're her. Not your, but her. Let's see. Is it the one with the S2K? Oh, duh. Oh, he's pulling it out. Are those from bl Blenders wear? I wear? Hell yeah, these things are sick. How do you say it? Blenders I wear. Blenders I wear? Dude! Up, sick! Man? How you doing, bro? Not too bad. This is tight! Chris, that's my brother, Josh. Sick. Those are sick. I knocked that one whenever I do. Dude, nice S2K. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice S2K, dude. <laughs> it's a Yada. No, so. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. I actually met Chris at Desert Fest a couple weeks ago. And like I said, he hit me up on Instagram for my seats. So we're gonna try and do a quick little swap and see if we can get them to fit his car. So right now what we were gonna do was take off. What we we're gonna do was to see if essentially the FRS seat and the brackets fit by themselves. But unfortunately, yeah, the FRS seats are bottom mount. And if you can see here that bottom mount, WRX is 
are side mounted. So what Chris is gonna do is, is he's gonna trim and take the seats and see if he can just fab work them. Probably do four bolts and see how he can enter it. But that's a project Chris is gonna do. If you guys wanna keep up with that, go ahead and follow Chris on Instagram. It is right there and I will also leave it in the description below. When it rains, you gotta put your car in, especially if you spend three or four days. Approved, yes. My bad, baller. What exhaust again? Nameless performance. Nameless. Nameless, amazing. Dude, there, I went up to the <laughs> shop when I was out in Oregon. They're just up over the border in Washington. Like stopped by, they gave me a full tour, free shirt, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta rub oh, yeah. these guys because they're just rad. Hey, man. Likewise, man. I'll see you guys. Uh, Chris. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah. I will catch you then. Sounds Thank you good. again for buying the seats. Yeah. I will leave Chris's at for this beautiful car. Yes, at to at symbol. Duh. In the link down below. The weather kind of relaxed. Don't let me like that. All right, guys. So we are back from Chris's house. Definitely would like to say Chris is a really cool dude. Chris does have a sick car. Um, if you guys have it, make sure to go follow Chris. Show him some love. He's a really cool dude. It actually works at a really good breakfast joint. So, <clears throat> with that being said, um, me and Josh are going to be in a show tomorrow with the rest of the boys. And we still have more than a quarter tank. Um, for those that don't know, it, the rule is if you do go to an indoor show and compete, you have to disconnect your batteries, have a quarter tank of gas, such on and so forth. And we don't have quarter tanks of gas. So we're gonna go to the store and see if Josh's gas gauge moves because it hasn't moved all day. cities where there's nothing but cop. Oh yeah. my god, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Lone coilovers. You're really gonna do whatever it takes to get rid of gas. You really do. Alright, let's see if we can get some flame. Some flame mignon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like what's one of the characters from the skateboard company World Industries? Uh, Probably too young. Too young. Flame Boy. Flame Boy. I knew that. I didn't know that. Rear. Too bad it's too dark. That would've been sick. Yay! All right, hit it, Fergie. <laughs> Okay, do you want the answer or do you want me to make you happy? Uh, answer? Yeah, you know. No flame. No flame whatsoever. Yeah. 
A lot of popping. A lot of. You gotta do it, let it go. You have to give the people what they want. <laughs> what are you looking at? Creeps of Walmart. <laughs> the creeps of Walmart? If you really... What? What do you mean like pina coladas? Oh, shut up. Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me, Mosey Oak. Mosey? <laughs> Mossy. Oh. <shit. laughs> like, you ever gone hunting or fishing in your life? Yeah. Obviously not. <laughs> we, we gotta walk all the way around. Thousands upon thousands of employees. Uh huh. We're gonna open two registers tonight. Yep. We're gonna close the self checkout. Yeah. Not enough employees to watch it. And I'm like, you get paid thousands of dollars. That poor lady, that guy, this lady, probably only make 18 bucks an hour. I'm like, maybe you should aim a little more. Maybe you should have someone at self checkout. Walmart open. Might as well give that guy 30 bucks an hour. You, you need to run for president. Is that thing on? Yep. When is it ever off? It's a real question. I was waiting for you to do something immaculate, but it didn't happen. Desperate times calls for desperate needs. Start shaking it up and down like that. And once the gas gets so far filled and starts work that it comes with ethylene. Now everybody knows that you have to siphon down. This man's down. not even in a half tank yet. <laughs> okay. You cannot siphon liquid. Liquid does not go uphill again. If we right. figure this out, We're stay out. tuned. Alright guys, so we did just leave Josh's house. Um I left Josh's house a little while ago. And uh right now trying to get rid of my gas for the show tomorrow. Um, it's pretty late already. It's around midnight. Um, yeah, so I'm not doing too bad. I only have a little bit more to go. I've been at this for a little while already. Um, but I figured I'd let you guys chime in and see the struggles you gotta go through if you don't know how to siphon or get rid of your gas. time we meet up with the guys tomorrow and shoot the pre-show movie or whatever you want to call it we should be at the quarter tank so we are gonna head home get some rest wash the car in the morning go from there we've been at this for a while it's 115 this is 115 all right guys so I am home the car is ready for tomorrow. All I have to do is give it a quick detail and wash in the morning. Go pick up Adriana and then we're going to meet the guys at Revive Wraps for the little pre-show meet thing that we're doing. Um, but with that being said, shout out to Chris. Thank you, Chris, for buying the seats. Like I said, I will leave his at down below so you guys can go follow and show him some love. Uh, with that being said, uh, the video is now coming to an end. Let's never forget, no matter how far we get in life, to remain humble and always try to make a difference.